we have here our relationships between position, velocity, and acceleration. And what we want to do in kinematics is we want to start with a model that our acceleration is constant. What we get from this model is that we get that our acceleration is then equal to our average acceleration is equal to our instantaneous acceleration. But also we get from this model what we got from a previous video, which is kinematic equation one. We got that VF is equal to VI plus AT. So with this new equation, we can then draw the velocity versus time graph. And if we draw the velocity versus time graph, we're going to have some right, initial velocity. And then this is just y equals mx plus b, right? This is just a straight line. So we would have something like this. So the first thing we can see is that when acceleration is constant, velocity is very much not constant. It's a line. But what we can also see is that if we take a look at our first point and our second point, if we average these two points, we get the average velocity. So we can say that our average velocity for a line is equal to the initial plus the final velocity average divided by 2. But we also have that V average is equal to delta S over delta T. So we can say equals delta S over delta T. So with this, we can then also use that our VF definition is VI plus a delta t, so now we have vi plus vi plus a t, all divided by 2. And then over for this delta s, we can define our delta s as sf minus si, and then taking away the delta, just as t. With this, we can then make some steps to start to solve for s sub f. We have two v sub i, so we can group them together, two v i. We have a t, and we can split this two, so that's right, two here and two here. And then we can multiply all of this by time, and then we get sf minus si. Well, flipping these two over, we have sf is equal to, or sf minus si, These twos, as we might expect, do a nice little job of canceling. And then distributing this t, we would get vi times t. a times t times t will give us a t squared. And then that divided by 2, we usually write as 1 half. So our last step is bringing this s sub i over. And we get then sf equals si plus vit plus one half a t squared. And this is our second kinematic equation, right? This only works if our acceleration is constant. But while our acceleration is constant, while our velocity versus time looks like this, and we can use this relationship, then we have a kinematic equation too, and we can use it to solve problems.